Yesterday I was working on increasing the hue contrast, or the uh, sorry, yeah, the hue, the hue contrast. Gosh, I always get them confused. Anyways, the hue contrast between the character and the background. So I made this. Most of the background colors are um, now based on the opposite of the color of the team color of the player. So the player's team color right now is sort of this aqua green, and uh, the contrasting ground tiles here are sort of a pinkish hue um, but you can see that there's a lot more contrast going on tonally between the character's skin and the background you can actually the character pops way more the skybot pops a lot more and there's also a subtle difference between them and the other foreground objects like these pillars these pillars are not quite as dark or poppy as the as uh, the character is uh, let's look at some screenshots to really compare it in detail um oh here's what i did today with uh, i just tweeted this basically this is where i started here right look how much look how little contrast there is with the character going on you can barely even tell it's there but when you turn on color you can kind of tell a lot better what's going on here but um that's but see this is what this is what you see whenever a screen is filtered or when you're colorblind like there's a lot of reasons why you might see the game kind of like this or maybe you're just tired that day and you're not quite seeing tones as clearly as you usually do so this is really difficult for the eye to see tonally um, but then we move over to this with a lot of tweaks so we have the character's skin being a lot darker there's a darker uh, color uh, along the edge of the blade too. Let's look at that. See how dark that color is along the edge of the blade. And then we have um, the skybot being the same colors as the, the player's skin. And we have the pillars being darker. We also have fog color being a little bit darker. So instead of brightening the entire image with fog, which is barely noticeable, but you can really tell and it's very random as the fog moves you get sort of a, a totally brighter screen and then you sort of get it to kind of get a darker screen so this this these side of the images here these have a darker fog going on um which sort of just basically makes the entire screen a little bit darker and allows the really bright colors to pop more and um, we also have the pillars being a little bit darker themselves as well as these these are the, i call these permanent pillars these are eventually going to be something really cool and obelisky with maze drawings on them and other random cool stuff maybe they glow um and but these are just going to be sort of your prosaic uh pillars that you can go smash with your sword and they're also a little bit darker so that's it working on tonal contrast today hope you learned something thanks for watching